Harrison. Well, now I know why you won't go out with me again. You're having a torrid affair with Henderson. It's Harrison, and he's my coworker. Why are you calling? Uh, you called me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said, Jake, if I'm going to go on a second date with you, I'm going to need you to sell me. You don't remember saying that. No. So sell me. Let me guess. We'll start at a Michelin-rated restaurant and end up sneaking under a bridge. No, I was thinking the Metro. Slap some mac and cheese in a Tupperware. The red line's my favorite, but it's also the longest, so until I'm sure that I like you, you know, as much as you like me, I think it's best we start with something short, like the green line. I have to go, Jake. I'm sorry. Can I call you back tomorrow? Say hi to Henderson for me. Sir. Send them in. I don't see you in person for three years, and now I'm seeing you twice in a week. I'm starting to feel special. Still watching her? Of course. But I have to tell you, I don't have any more information than I gave you the other day. Who's the guy? What? Who's the guy? You know, she's seeing someone, someone new. Look. Who's the guy? So this is personal. Look, Fitz. I'm your commander in chief. It's Mr. President, and I need an answer. Mr. President, there is no guy. She's not seeing anyone. 